about extremes. That was some of our worst summer weather ever in our history. Now we're having some of the best this week. It's yeah, incredible. Yeah, a, a strange turnaround of events. You know, the calendar is not matching up with weather at all. Uh, but I did have a chance to dive into our Portland heat wave and the heat wave that really stretched across the Pacific Northwest and interviewed local climatologists. If you'd like to take a look more about those details and what we really uncovered about why we even got here in the first place, all you have to do is go to coin.com to read that article up there right now. Yeah, if you'll recall, we had the three days in a row above 100. It wasn't just above 100, though. 108, 112, 116, smashing records left and right, one right after the other. So at this point, our all-time high record does stand still at 116. But we could see more of those heat waves, certainly in the near future. In the last 10 days, though, we've been seeing those temperatures just slightly above normal in the mid 80s. And in fact, as we get to the end of the week, we'll see a slight decrease in our temperatures before they go up once again. 67 for us right now, and we're looking at mostly clear skies, low 60s just after midnight. And then our marine layer will come to save the day in the morning. And why I say that is because we need to add a little bit of moisture to the atmosphere. It's not going to show up by way of rain, but if we can just add or increase our dew points a little bit, any little bit will help. Over to Seaside right now, your temperature there, 56 degrees, mostly cloudy skies for you, and we'll see some sunshine there a little bit later tomorrow afternoon. Air quality is in the good category. Now you go down to Central Oregon, we have the moderate category, Pendleton, over to La Grande, you're looking at unhealthy for sensitive groups around Lakeview and Klamath Falls. A little bit closer to the bootleg fire, our biggest wildfire burning right now. You have the unhealthy for sensitive groups and moderate category. We'll see those winds pick up again for the afternoon. So what does that mean for the surface smoke? Where is all that wildfire smoke going to be going for tomorrow? Most of that smoke will be heading off to the east, southeast, and stay east of the Cascades as long as we have that onshore flow in place, which we are expecting for at least the next week. Mostly cloudy skies for you tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the low 60s. By noon, we're at 68, upper 70s, and then topping off right around 80 degrees for tomorrow. Yeah, no rain in sight. We're still dealing with extreme drought conditions for most of the western states all the way to the Rockies. There's that big bubble of high pressure returning again as we get to next Monday. No rain for us. You might get a few clouds at the coast, and that's about it. Seven-day forecast. Here we go. Thursday, Friday, mid to upper 70s. Saturday, Sunday, back to the low to mid 80s with, you guessed it, more sunshine in the forecast. Well, coming up, Team U.